hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video has been so highly requested so i thought i finally should make a tutorial for some crochet shorts i hope you guys enjoy so all i'm doing is making a slip knot with my yarn i am using wait for lions brand yarn and a five millimeter hook so all i'm gonna do is start making a very long chain and for the length of this chain, it should hit about an inch above the widest point of your hips. So you don't want it to fit the widest point of your hips, you want it to fit just a little bit above that because the yarn does stretch a little bit. So for my size, I'm making a size small. I did, I believe, 103 chains. So once you have the length that you need, all I'm going to be doing is attaching this together. So I'm putting my hook through the very first chain and connecting that together with a slip stitch. So now once it is connected, I'm just going to chain two to begin my row. This entire short tutorial is going to be double crochets so all you're going to be doing is placing one double crochet in every chain for this entire row and if you're not familiar with double crochet all you do is you wrap the yarn around the hook put it through the chain yarn over pull through then you yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so I'm pulling through the first one, I'll have three left on my hook, pull through two of them, pull through two of them. So that is a double crochet and now all I'm going to be doing is placing one double crochet in every chain for this round. So once you have completed the first round, all I'm going to be doing is attaching it to the top of the first chain two of the beginning of the row. And I'm going to place my hook through the top of the first chain two, and I'm going to be connecting that together with a slip stitch. So then I'm going to get started on the second row, always chain two at the beginning of each row. That little chain that's connected to your chain two, you skip over that and the very next chain is the first chain of the row. And as you can see, a chain has two um, pieces of thread in it. We are only going to be chaining in the back stitch. So you're going to be placing your double crochet only in the back stitch of each row, and we are going to be continuing that for the remainder of this pattern. So just go ahead and finish this row place a double crochet in the back stitch of every chain. Once you have finished the second round, I'm going to again connect it to the top of the very first chain two with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to be chaining two and repeating this process all over again, placing do one double crochet in every back stitch of each chain. And you're just going to continue this over and over again until you get the length that you want for your shorts. I believe I did about 15 rows, so it depends how high-waisted you want your shorts to be. If you want them to be low rise, obviously don't do as many rows, um, but I believe I did complete 15 rows and um, it's a pretty decent high rise length for a size small, but of course you can customize it to fit your size perfectly. And the thing I love about this pattern is since we are making this fit the width of not the widest point of our hips, but just slightly above it. We don't need to increase or decrease at all for this project. 
it's all one size and the yarn is pretty forgiving and stretchy so we don't need to increase or decrease at all so that's what i love about this so anyway i'm just going to continue this until i have the length that i want so now i have done my 15 rows and now i'm going to get started on the leg holes so once you have come back around to the beginning of your row just make sure you connect it with a slip stitch and then i'm going to line it so that the seam where i've been connecting all of my rows together is in the middle and then i'm going to look on the back side and pick a chain that i think is the center and I'm just going to kind of pull it up a little bit so it acts as a chain marker. So now to get started on the first leg hole, all I'm going to do is chain six. Once I have six chained, then I'm going to block off the very last chain with my finger, chain an additional two, prepare for a double crochet and go in through the chain that we blocked off with our finger and place a double crochet then you're going to go back down the six chain that you just made and place one double crochet in every chain And then just continue on to the row and you're going to continue only chaining along the back stitches one double crochet in every chain and you're going to go all the way around until you reach the chain that you marked so once i have reached the chain all i'm going to do is chain six Once I have the six, I'm going to flip my work over and I'm going to be working that side of the shorts. So now we are only crocheting along one side of the shorts. Block off the very last chain, chain an additional two, prepare for a double crochet and place it in the chain that you blocked off. Now we are starting on row two on one side of the leg hole. So I'm just going to be, again, placing one double crochet in every chain, going back down. And then once you have reached the main chain, again, just only be chaining through the back stitch. Place a double crochet in every chain until you reach the end, which is the little tail that we've created. So now once we are all the way back, we have one side of the leg hole almost completed. All I'm going to be doing is working over to the other side and then crocheting along the other leg hole. So instead of cutting and tying, I'm just going to be single crocheting my way over. So I'm placing two single crochets in each double crochet space. So a total of four. Then I will have made it to the other side going to kind of turn the work over and then start my double crochet row for the other leg hole so to begin I'm going to chain two and then be placing one double crochet and you're going to be working along the back stitch which is a little bit more tricky to find each individual stitch just because it's the back of the row 
so just make sure you have a total of six going back down before you reach the um, base of the shorts. So just make sure you're not accidentally skipping a stitch. Now once you make it back, make sure you are placing one double crochet in the back stitch only. And then continue until you reach the other side. So now I have crocheted my way up the other side. I am chaining two, flipping over, and beginning on the second row of the other side of the pant leg that we just have been working on. So each side of the leg holes should have two uh, rows of double crochets. And if you want to stop at two rows, you can. It'll just fit more like a bikini bottom. But I think I will be adding one more row for each side. So I'll have a total of three rows for my leg openings. If you want to continue that, you can really do it for as many rows as you like. So right here, all I'm doing is I've finished the two rows for each side. So I'm just single crocheting my way back across to the other side to add more rows. So I hope that makes sense. Um, this is optional. You can add as little or as many rows for your leg openings as you want to. Um, I am going to add a total of three rows on each side. So this is going to be my third row. Then once I make my way across the other side, I will single crochet over back to the other leg opening and add an additional row on that side as well. So I know that kind of sounds confusing, but um, yeah, anyway, so once I have the length that I want for my leg hole openings, I'm going to connect the two bottom pieces together and single crochet them. So if you would like to flip the shorts inside out, before you connect them together so that the um, seam of the stitch is folded onto the inside, you totally can. I'm just going to stitch them together on the outside because this is going to be in between my legs so no one's really going to see the seam line anyway, but if you want your shorts to look perfect, you can flip this inside out and do the um, a row of single crochet connection on the inside. So once I have that connected, all I'm going to do is tie that, knot it, and then weave it in. And then we are almost done with our shorts. So now all I'm going to do is take my yarn and I'm going to be creating a really long chain. So this is going to be the drawstring for the top of the shorts. Just going to create a basic slip knot and then make a chain that's long enough to completely wrap around your um, midsection. And if you want to have it dangle a little bit, feel free to make it longer. I believe I did about 140 chains for my drawstring. And once you have the length that you want, all I'm doing is cutting off the ends and triple knotting them so they have um, a nice end to it. I'm going to flip the shorts over to the back, place my drawstring through any random chain. I am um, going to be weaving it in and out of the second row from the top, and I'm going to be skipping about three to four chains um, in between each space that I'm weaving it through. So I'm just going to start along the back and then weave it all the way through towards the front. So then once you have your drawstring 
weaved in, you are completely done with your shorts. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments and thank you so much for watching.